Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Forbes Flash this week. The Fertitta brothers have sold their remaining UFC stakes at a $5 billion valuation. The billionaires sold most of their stakes last summer, and they're now fully divested from the business. The transaction marks the end of a lucrative journey. The brothers originally acquired UFC for just $2 million in 2001. Frank and Lorenzo are currently worth an estimated $2 billion each. And now on to the three things you need to know from this past week. Last episode, we told you what to expect from our tax reform week. One key article from Congressman Kevin Brady argues that 2017 is the year to make history with tax reform. But how exactly? He says, by streamlining the code and focusing on American competitiveness and economic growth. To follow along with all of our Tax Reform Week content, check out hashtag Forbes Tax Reform on Twitter. Atlanta-based Rubicon Global has emerged as tech's first trash unicorn. The waste industry startup just announced a $50 million investment, valuing the company at more than $1 billion, according to the co-founder and CEO. They're growing quickly, largely thanks to small businesses using their services, similarly to an Uber for trash. Twitter reacted quickly and strongly to the news of a new Silicon Valley startup called Bodega that hopes to save retailers by offering posh-looking vending machines. But will the high-tech solution actually put your favorite corner bodega out of business? Only time will tell. Admit it, you know someone who you think deserves to be on our 30 under 30 list. Maybe it's you. Well, you still have a chance. The nomination deadline for our 2018 list is today. Head on over to Forbes.com slash 30 under 30 nominations to be considered. This week, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation issued a serious warning to the world's governments, especially the U.S. They say that trimming of foreign aid budgets would cause millions of people to die from HIV, childhood illnesses, and malaria. The projections lay out comparisons for what might happen to the global population with minimized budgets, a grim warning for those who've been cheered by recent progress. Now, let's hear from our San Francisco Bureau Chief, Miguel Helft, about the biggest news to come out of this week's Apple event. Clearly the most exciting and interesting announcement that Apple made was the iPhone, the introduction of the iPhone X, a thousand dollar device. We'll see if consumers will buy it, but it's a very good looking device. It's a step up from the iPhone 8, which they announced as well. And it has uh, some nifty things like the Face ID, um, which will unlock uh, the phone by simply you looking at the device. Apple is saying that the Face ID is going to be more secure than uh, the fingerprint ID, uh, which we currently use to unlock iPhones. Uh, that remains to be seen. As with anything in uh, security, there will be hackers trying to find ways around it, and um, despite Apple's promises, we don't know yet if this is going to open up a can of worms when it comes to security. It wasn't hardware, but one of the most interesting things that Apple introduced or, or talked about was the AR kit and how it's being used. And this is bringing augmented reality, which used to be something you did with a big headset on your face, uh, to the phone. And it has the potential to forever change the way we interact with our phones, creating more engaging experience, more, more immersive experiences. And Apple is not the only one doing this. Google is doing the same thing. Facebook is said to be working on similar technologies. But it really could change the way we use our devices, much like the camera changed the way we used uh, phones in the early days. Is the iPhone X worth $1,000? I'm sure a lot of people will want to buy it to have the latest, greatest, best Apple device. But the phone is entering a market where there's some very worthy competition at a somewhat lesser price, including from Apple, but also from Samsung, from Google, and, uh, and a slew of other premium Android phones that are very, very good. That's all for today. Tweet your feedback using hashtag Forbes Flash, and we'll see you next week. Tune in every Friday morning, same time, same place.